How to add a network printer if you're on Windows XP Home. I assume everyone knows how to go to Start, Control Panel. Then you're going to get the window and you're going to click on Printers and Faxes. Uh, then you're going to go to Add a Printer. And you'll get this standard window here. And instead of choosing a local printer attached to this computer, you probably want to choose a network printer. Wrong. You want to choose local printer attached to this computer. Why? Because when you say network printer, they're actually thinking of um, a shared printer, like another computer on your network that has a printer attached with USB port to it, and then it's got the Windows share services. Uh, but whereas a network printer, a true network printer, has its own network card and it's its own computer and it can accept its own print jobs rather than going through a separate computer. So we're going to choose local printer attached to this computer. Uncheck this box but automatically detecting. Click next. Now it's going to want to search your whole computer even though you chose it not to automatically detect it. It's going to want to search your whole computer, all your USB ports, parallel ports, that type of thing to see if it can find a printer. Of course it found none so it's going to ask me what port. We're going to create a new port. Standard TCP IP port. Hit next. And then you get this window here. That's where most people go wrong. They don't choose uh, this right here about the TCP IP. And that's where most people go wrong. They choose a network printer. You have to choose local printer and then come here to the TCP IP printer port wizard. Then you have to enter in the printer name or IP address and I think it's 192.168.0.102 I think that's the